Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe came into existence from a singularity. And before that moment, there was no time or space. However, recent discoveries by the James Webb Space Telescope challenged this theory, suggesting that it might not be the accurate explanation for the universe's beginning. There's also a fascinating idea that time itself could be an illusion. Renowned physicist Roger Penrose supports these alternative ideas and suggests that time might be an illusion and the Big Bang might not be the origin of the universe. Let's delve in to find out what discoveries the James Webb Telescope has made that support these ideas and why Roger Penrose endorses them. The Big Bang Theory is one of the most widely accepted scientific explanations for the origin of the universe. According to this theory, the universe began as a singularity, an infinitesimally small and dense point, and then underwent an incredibly rapid expansion, resulting in the formation of time, space, and matter. This event marked the birth of the universe as we know it. Before the Big Bang, there was nothing, no time, no space, no matter, and no energy. The concept of nothingness is difficult for our minds to grasp as we are accustomed to perceiving our reality within the framework of time and space. However, the Big Bang theory suggests that the entire fabric of space-time, as we understand it today, had its genesis at that singular moment. Nevertheless, recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have called into question the validity of the Big Bang Theory as the definitive starting point for the universe. These new findings have challenged the conventional understanding of time itself, suggesting that it may be an illusion. The renowned British physicist Roger Penrose has lent support to these alternative ideas, proposing that time may not be an independent and fundamental aspect of the universe. Instead, Penrose suggests that time might emerge from deeper underlying structures, making it a construct rather than a fundamental reality. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched with the goal of observing the early universe, has captured images that raise intriguing questions about the Big Bang Theory. These images show characteristics of galaxies that contradict the predictions of the theory. Cosmologists and astronomers are troubled by these discrepancies as they challenge the widely accepted model that has been foundational to our understanding of the cosmos. One of the key issues lies in the observed characteristics of galaxies seen through the James Webb Space Telescope. According to the Big Bang Theory, as the universe expands, galaxies should appear larger as they move away from us due to the stretching of light. However, the telescope's images present a surprising finding. Galaxies appear smaller as the distance between them and us increases. Even galaxies with greater mass and brightness than our Milky Way appear much smaller in the James Webb Space Telescope images compared to previous observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope. These unexpected observations have raised doubts about the expanding universe assumption inherent in the Big Bang Theory. Observed in distant galaxies in the James Webb Space Telescope images have also presented a challenge to the expanding universe hypothesis of the Big Bang Theory. Redshifts refer to the phenomenon where light from distant objects appears to shift towards the red end of the spectrum due to the universe's expansion. However, the redshifts observed in these galaxies are much greater than predicted, casting doubt on the theory's assumptions about the expansion rate. Moreover, the presence of small and smooth galaxies in the James Webb Space Telescope images contradicts the expectation of the Big Bang Theory that galaxies would have started as small and dense and grown larger over time through collisions and expansion. Instead, the galaxies in the images display well-formed spiral structures and smooth disks, much like the galaxies we observe in the present universe. This discrepancy challenges the predicted optical illusion of the expanding universe, raising questions about the validity of the Big Bang Theory itself. Alison Kirkpatrick, an astronomer from the University of Kansas and other supporters of the Big Bang Theory, were aware of the need for small and dense galaxies based on previous observations by the Hubble Space Telescope. However, the James Webb Space Telescope images have intensified the challenge 
by providing evidence that galaxies did not initially start small and then grow larger through cosmic processes. This finding opens up new avenues of inquiry into the true nature of the universe's birth and evolution. The age and abundance of galaxies in the James Webb Space Telescope images present further complications for the Big Bang Theory. By using infrared filters, astronomers can estimate the age of stars within these distant galaxies. According to the theory, these galaxies should represent a time around 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. However, some galaxies in the images show stellar populations that are over a billion years old, contradicting the assumption that nothing could have existed before the Big Bang. These puzzling observations challenge the timeline and sequence of events proposed by the Big Bang Theory. The discrepancies in the ages of stars within galaxies raise questions about the true origins of these celestial objects and the nature of the early universe. Additionally, the number of galaxies observed at redshifts above 10 in the James Webb Space Telescope images is at least 100,000 times greater than predicted by theorists. This startling revelation has further stoked the debate surrounding the Big Bang Theory's assumptions about the rapid formation of galaxies and their evolution in the early universe. Cosmologists and astronomers are left grappling with these enigmatic findings, searching for alternative explanations that can reconcile the observed discrepancies with the prevailing theories about the universe's birth and evolution. This scientific exploration has sparked a renewed interest in the fundamental nature of time itself. Some scientists propose that time, as we perceive it, may be an illusion, a construct created by human consciousness to make sense of reality. They argue that everything that has ever happened or will happen exists simultaneously in some timeless and interconnected fabric of existence. This perspective challenges the conventional notion of time as a linear progression, a one-way street from the past to the future. Instead, it suggests that the past, present, and future coexist in a timeless block universe, where every event has its position in space-time, and all moments are equally real. Physicists have also delved into the idea of a cyclic universe, where the Big Bang is not a singular event, but one phase in an eternal cycle of cosmic birth and collapse. According to proponents of the cyclic model, the universe goes through an endless series of expansions and contractions, with each cycle giving rise to a new Big Bang and a new universe. In this scenario, the universe experiences an infinite number of iterations, each with its distinct set of physical laws and properties. This concept challenges our understanding of time as a linear arrow extending infinitely into the future. Instead, time becomes a cyclical rhythm marked by successive universes that arise, evolve, and eventually give way to the next cosmic cycle. Furthermore, some adherents of the Big Crunch theory speculate that when the universe ceases its expansion and begins to contract, time itself might reverse its direction. This notion proposes that, in the distant future, the universe's contraction will lead to a reversal of the cooling and expansion observed during the Big Bang, eventually culminating in a collapse back to its initial singularity. The speculation about time's reversal in a contracting universe is based on the principle that the laws of physics should be equally valid when run backward in time as they are when run forward. This principle, known as time reversibility or time symmetry, is a foundational concept in theoretical physics. The possibility of time's reversal adds another layer of complexity to the understanding of time and the nature of the universe. In light of these profound questions about time and the flaws in the Big Bang theory, scientists are actively exploring alternative cosmological models to explain the universe's origin and evolution. The expanding field of theoretical physics has given rise to various contenders, each proposing unique ways to address the mysteries of space, time, and gravity. One such contender is string theory, a prominent proposal in the quest for a unified theory of quantum gravity. According to string theory, particles are not point-like entities but rather tiny, vibrating strings. The different modes of vibration of these strings correspond to the various particles observed in the universe, giving rise to a new perspective on the fundamental building blocks of reality. 
String theory presents the possibility of reconciling general relativity with quantum physics, providing a potential resolution to the long-standing challenge of merging these two foundational pillars of modern physics. However, the theory also introduces new complexities, particularly in its requirement for additional spatial dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. The string theory proposes that these extra dimensions are compactified and exist at scales far smaller than our observable universe. As of yet, there is no experimental evidence to confirm the existence of these extra dimensions, and the precise nature of their role remains a subject of ongoing investigation and debate among physicists. Loop quantum gravity, LQG, is another theory that offers a unique perspective on the nature of space-time by challenging the conventional notion of continuous and smooth fabric. According to LQG, space-time is made up of discrete, and interwoven loops, much like a network of interconnected stitches on a length of cloth. At the smallest scales, the discrete nature of space-time becomes apparent, analogous to individual pixels computer screen. The challenge with LQG lies in its predictions being observable only at the Planck scale, which is infinitesimally small and currently beyond our technological capabilities to directly test. To investigate its implications, physicists are exploring alternative methods, such as using ultra-cold gases and analyzing light from distant gamma-ray bursts. The current view is that the universe began with what's called the Big Bang. Immediately following that was a stage of inflation, which was a, an exponential expansion. So this seems enough for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.